indie games that are good. They spice up the game market. You can connect with it more. You can connect with developers more. Indie games are nice. And I like to support small groups of people that are making games that they want to, telling stories that they want to. Indie games deserve some spotlight. Indie Intel is a series here on Hapticast where we talk about indie games um, that we feel look good and they deserve some spotlight. And the point of this is to remove the uh, negativity, if you will, around indie games. A stigma. Yeah. Today, we're talking about Losha. Losha is made by Crown Ponyfish. Nice name for uh, the studio. I actually really like that name. Yeah. No, I, it's I was being, it sounded like I was being sarcastic, but yeah. I was not. Um, and so it's on Kickstarter. I'll put the link to the Kickstarter in the description and at the end of the Indie Intel video that's separate from the podcast. Yeah. Um, it's already it, over, the, the Kickstarter, by the way. Yeah, but the, there's a lot of information. Yeah, yeah and graphics and stuff. Yeah. Um, so the Kickstarter video had Jade Lockman in it, who's the writer and producer, and he talked about the game a little bit. So Losha... He was wearing a Star Wars shirt. He was, and he had the uh, Stormtrooper in the background. Yeah. So... And he mentioned something about Star Wars in that video, too, about being like inspired. Yeah. 20. Yeah, in my book. In our book. Something off. Okay. So, I should preface by saying they've made a game before this that takes place in the same world. Okay, so that's why on their website it said lore. Lore yeah. book or whatever. You can actually read the yeah. lore. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, Losha is the newest creation in a series of stories that have been written and shared for almost two decades. Interesting. This will be the first single-player game in Heaven's Break and will also be unique in the fact that it allows fellow role players to experience content outside, outside of Underlight. So Heaven's Break and Underlight are places Universes. that they've created within right. this world. So if you're interested in that, go to their website. Um, I think it's just crownponyfish.com and you go to the lore section. It's also they include it on the Kickstarter page. Yeah. Um, so, welcome to the Dreamland Locia. It is an ocean-based world that houses some very unique characters. Starting our story off with Reef... Omeria, sorry if I butchered these names, and his hardy crew of two, we will embark out in a world of fencing, fighting, torture, poison, and true love. Okay, maybe not true love, but there will be a lot of other stuff. This isn't a kissing book, after all. The crew of the Fabled Surprise find themselves as part... I guess that's the name of their little group, the Fabled Surprise, mm -hmm. find themselves as part of a very small and illegal group of people known as Dreamers. Some would say that they smuggle good... Some... S I can't read anything... Mm -hmm. Some would say that smuggling goods past the Dominion's Daroni armored ships would be foolish yeah. enough, but to be a dreamer means that you are not safe anywhere. Mm. These are things within hey, the world Josh, already that I can't. You're remember. a big Daroni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they now they did just mention uh, dreamer, and this game has a really big emphasis on uh, lucid dreaming. Right. Correct. Well, that's like. I think that's how they fight. Like you go to the dreamer and they like fight. These okay, that's what I meant. Um, Reef and his crew seek to find the truth to their questions. Is this really a dream? Why are they shunned by the citizens of Losha and hunted by the Dominion? As a matter of fact, who exactly are the Dominion? What gives them the rights to set the laws of Losha and carry out their punishments? So this is about fighting evil through a very unique and intense story that takes place in this world called Heaven's Break. Hmm. It's coming out in June 2016 is what it's set for right now. Um, it's going to be released on PC, iOS, and Android. I kind of burped, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the art. It fucking looks nice. It's So it's 8-bit. It reminds me of, like, Pokemon. Yeah, when we were watching the trailer, like, the the way you... The overworld, I guess, and you walk around, that reminded me of Pokemon. And yeah. then, when you go into battle, it reminded me of, like, Final Fantasy. Yeah. Old school so, Final like, Fantasy. an RPG type thing. But the, the emphasis that they were trying to bring was to the story and the lore. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know... What the other game or games? Because it sounds like they, they said two decades. So I guess they've been working on this world for a long time. Yeah. Um, but their goal was ten thousand dollars to be funded. They were over that. They were close to twelve thousand. They were three hundred dollars over. How about that? I thought it was like a thousand. I don't know. Maybe it was. They were over. Um, but what stood out to me was like how thorough their Kickstarter page was. How they described everything. They showed all their concept art. They described everyone who's in the team, which is made by six people, by the way. Um, they had a lot of really nice tiers on the side. Um, so I'm glad that it was fully funded. Like, I wish more people... I wish we would have known about this sooner. Mm -hmm. um, like, well, we didn't even do Indie Intel last year. Like, what the heck? Yeah, at the time this was going on, we didn't cover any games like this, so... Yeah. Um, but it just... The guy really stood out to me. The Kickstarter stood out to me. I think it's, it's nice, and I want to play it. 
So. Yeah, we were looking for games to cover, and you, I don't know how you found it, but you, you were like, we're doing this one, right from the guy, like the guy was just talking about the game, you yeah. were like, I like this guy. Well, I could tell that he was passionate about what he was doing, yeah. he's nice. Saw the stormtrooper in the background? Yeah, dude. Saw the description mentioned Daronis? <laughs> Fucking yeah. Daronis. Is that what it was? It's Daroni armored ships. Daroni, dude! I don't know what that is. Daroni intel. Well, there's something that, like, you're a big jabroni. Yeah. And you're a big jabroni, it's jabroni. The Rock. The Rock would say that. Right, yeah. Okay. Okay. Rice jabroni. Alright. You call you a fruity pebble jab jabroni. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, check it out. The link to the Kickstarter will be in the description. Again, made by Crown. Tony Fish. Tony Fish. Tony Head. And the guy's name was Jade. Jade Winston? Okay. No. Uh, Jade Lockman is yeah. the writer and producer. Um, that's a mouth. I can't say crown a lot. Like well, I can't say crown and then like words after crown. Listen, we're from Philadelphia and we say it's I think it's supposed to be pronounced crayon, but yeah. we say crown. crown. Yeah. Or I say crayon like a normal person. Well, you know what I'm talking about, though, at least, right? Doesn't suck my ass, dude. I said, <laughs> well, it's like water and what? It's like water and, and water. water. Yeah, like, we, we say, say water, water. Yeah. in this where we live, so. But if I say, sorry, listen, dude, there's the door. <laughs> You're fucking cis scum. That's why you white fucking male. <laughs> um, but no, like I have a hard time saying like words after crown. Crown. Crown box. Well, if you say crayon, yeah, it's harder to say words afterwards. But we say crown, so how's it? Crown. Crayon. I don't know, dude. Kill my mouth, all right? But yeah, so check it out. This game looks fucking slick. Losha. Look it up. It, it puts the losha on the skin, <laughs> or else it gets the hose again. Right? I'll, I'll apply losha all over my body, dude, <laughs> when this game comes out. I will too. By the way, the just the fucking looking at all the maps they had, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah, I pixel art. That. Pi yeah, pixel art's hard to do, um, and so when it's done, it's. Yeah. Yeah. I urge you guys to go check out the Kickstarter. And look, just scroll down a little bit, and you see the enemy sprites yeah. or whatever, and they just. Right. The Donald Trump slick. Yeah.